Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we are going to be continuing The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with part four of season one, okay? I'm really excited to go ahead and continue this show. It's been very, very funny so far. Had some very heavy hitting moments and honestly, I just can't wait to see the characters develop more as we go on. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you'd like to watch my full length reaction to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's go ahead and continue The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. No! I told them you were awake. Happy birthday, birthday, Jeffrey. Oh, it's his birthday. Oh, my. I am so touched. Um, may I get you anything? This is highly irregular. Jeffrey, I don't want to hear it. Today, we're your butlers. <laughs> oh, boy. In bed? Is there anything else you would like? Um, a spot of tea? Carlton? Will? Ashley? Hillary? I will be enjoying a BBC broadcast of Gilbert and Sullivan's HMS Pinafore, followed by a penetrating interview by David Frost. Ooh. That sounds amazing. And I don't know who any of those people are. Worry. Well, Jeffrey, before we get to your tea, there's something else we'd like to do for you. <laughs> Carlton, put away that tired old kazoo, please. Happy birthday, my man G. Did you know the most about butler? We kiss it on the move and it's <laughs> he couldn't even take it seriously either. Did you see that look on Jeffrey's face? He just lit up. I never thought I'd say this, but it feels really good to do something for somebody else for a change. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to make him some tea? How would you like to go into the kitchen and introduce Mr. Teabag and Mr. Teapot to Mr. Boiling Water? <laughs> Hillary, how would you like to make the tea before I take away Mr. Allowance? <laughs> Mother, please. Don't talk down to me. Yeah, 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 I got it. I know what I'm gonna get G for his birthday. What? Here, let me give you a hint. A girl? <laughs> Little Richard? <laughs> I wanna hook Jeffrey up with a woman, man, you know, so he can get busy. Uh, I think Jeffrey's busy enough, what, with all his chores. Okay, Carlton. You, you don't get it. No. <laughs> no. If Jeffrey is interested, I don't see any harm in introducing him to a nice woman. Oh, exactly. There she goes. <laughs> Here, what goes? Your poor Aunt Vivian seems to think she's a oh, matchmaker. No. In oh, her no. mind, she's kind of the Chuck Woolery of Bel Air. Oh. Jeffrey deserves a woman interested in a serious, long lasting relationship. And I know exactly where to find her the mall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait till Jeffrey sees this. When I'm done, he won't have to polish this. He's gonna judge it. He's gonna judge it. Look, I already I know. I can see myself. Well, I can't. <laughs> Don't buckle. What are you trying to? Is that a gift? Oh. Hillary, what's the problem? I've never wrapped a present before. It's Jeff apparent. Jeff always wrapped my presents. Well, Hillary, you can't ask him to wrap his own present. Oh, I guess that's another one of those unwritten rules. It's not that hard to wrap a gift. Man, yo, oh, no, it's Jazz. And he's wearing and that same no shirt. Girls. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I I paid attention to what you guys said in the comment section, so I'm going to assume Jazz is going to get thrown out again because he wore that same shirt the last time he got thrown out, I'm pretty sure. Uh... <laughs> And it seems like they reuse the same scene, so that makes more sense. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know in the comments, thank you for letting me know that, because now it's actually more fun to anticipate. For your information, Hillary, Jazz here happens to be the master when it comes to cracking on the girl. Sure. Yo, the boy is irresistible. Sure, maybe during a blackout. <laughs> love to get a hold of you during a blackout. Oh, no. Daddy? Yep, here it goes. <laughs> Here he goes. Bye. <laughs> that's better. Oh, that's now, great. Where were we? That's well, great. Well, in honor of Jeffrey's birthday, we are preparing an incredible feast. <laughs> Could you put a hold on dinner, please? I'm trying to find Jeffrey a girl. The words Mission Impossible come to mind. <laughs> I know someone. Uh, really? Uh-huh. You know my friend Samantha? Maybe I should explain some of the finer points of the law to you. <laughs> yeah, probably. I was going to say that Samantha has this nice, sweet nanny who just came from England, and she says Helen has nothing to do, and she just sits in her room at night knitting. Perfect. A lonely woman 
new to our country. She probably won't even notice what a Melvin Jeffrey is. <laughs> Yo, Jeffrey! <laughs> hey, Ashley, you go invite her. Go ahead. You bell up, Master William. Oh my God, he's in his outfit and everything. I've been thinking about it, G, and straight up, man, I'm not down with you being lonely on your birthday. But I shall be far from lonely, Master William. I shall be spending the evening with the glorious music of Sir William Schwenk Gilbert and Sir Arthur Sullivan. Well, so far, I count you plus three guys. <laughs> I just thought you might prefer... Leave the poor man alone. He likes to do this for his birthday. I'm not making too big an assumption here, am I? As it happens, I like women just fine. But I think it's a bad idea for a butler to intertwine his private life with that of the family. Surely you glean that much from watching Mr. Belvedere. Ashley already invited her. What? I told her that was a little pushy, but you know kids. <laughs> this is just regrettable. I mean, come on, it ain't so bad, G. I mean, it's your patriotic duty mm. to show your countrywoman a good time. Do it for the king. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't want to disappoint King Elizabeth. That's why it was and funny. Old buttercups. <laughs> Helen is going to be here any minute. Come on, baby, hook it up. I'm hooking as fast as I can. Don't be such a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. Well, what are you going to wear? Voila. I mean, my buddy Jazz is the DJ there. He said the place is all of that. All what? <laughs> look, look, forget it. Hey, gee, I don't think you understand, man. I mean... You got a kind of a uh, Ben Vereen thing going here, man. I mean, I, I, come on, baby. You got to dress a lot funkier than that. Funkier. <laughs> <laughs> pure, pure, unadulterated funk. Yes. When the music starts pumping mm. and it's time to get on the dance floor, this is what you do. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> I would be most happy to, Master William, but to the best of my knowledge, hell has not yet frozen over. <laughs> I love Jeffrey. He's always got jokes, man. Oh, madam, sir. A round trip ticket to England. English leather. English toffee. An English muffin? <laughs> Yo, that sounds like my present, G, but I'll leave the unwrapping to you. Wow. Oh, Will, must you be so ribald? Here's my present, Jeffrey. Happy birthday. I wrapped it myself. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Hillary. Oh, this is most generous. Oh, that's a oh, nice Jeffrey, sweater. I know I boss you around too much, so this gift is my way of making up for it. Yo, happy birthday, G. Get ready to have your candles blown out. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Jeffrey, I'd like you to meet Samantha's nanny, Helen Carter. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was not what I was Helen, expecting. I'd like you to meet Jeffrey. Charmed. What are you trying to pull here, Tony the Tiger? I didn't start it. Did you see the way she looked at me? She didn't look she at you at all. Fantasy, Carlton. I was just trying to be friendly. She'll be dancing with him, but she'll be thinking of me. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Helen, I'm Will. Welcome to our humble crib. I am so glad you could make it tonight, Helen. This is working out just beautifully. The two of you look so wonderful together. How many lives do you have to ruin, Vivian? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Helen, what part of England are you from? Allow me, Miss Hillary. You're from London, of course. Of course. I'm guessing West End. Why, yes. Chilton Road. That's right. Upstairs above Shrimpton and Son. Close. One more block up next to Bottomley's. <laughs> well, it has been a while. <laughs> okay, so he already knows her. There's no way he knew all that. And to this day, it remains the largest rhino ever to be taken with a burned arrow. Jeffrey, this is fascinating. It's like going out with James Bond. You're not the first to have made that comparison. Look, that's Tom Cruise's pool cleaner. And that's Cher's electrolysis. <laughs> and that's Heather Locklear. 
Hey, beautiful. I see you coming to make up. Jazz. Like, what's with the no. band-aid? Was your brain leaking? I don't like talking to you. I don't even like seeing you. So please, just go away. I love a flirt. That's not flirting. <laughs> you doing here? Leave Jeffrey and Helen alone. Hillary, Hillary, what do you think I am? I mean, I came down here merely to hang out with my good friend Jazz. You're such well, a liar. Oh, <laughs> down. Peep out that babe G is with. You mean Wonder Woman? <laughs> Yo, check this out. I got the worst luck in the world. Now, you know, all the babes I messed with in Bel Air have been whack, right? Follow you so far? Yo, I go to hook G up with an old British nanny. Turns out to be her. <laughs> Homie, I'm in love. I mean, Jay ain't even want to go out with her in the first place. I don't know what you guys do in Philly, but in L.A., we don't get stuff like that away. I don't know what you guys do in L.A., but in Philly, you crack on somebody's honey, you mess around and get yourself killed. <laughs> I don't know what you guys do in Philly, but in L.A., we're man enough to take that risk. <laughs> 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 Calm down, man. Listen, throw on some house music. Won't be able to hang out on the dance floor. You can pick up all the pieces. Yo, we got a brother in the house tonight. He's celebrating his birthday. He's my main man, Jeffrey. So I want everybody to clear the dance floor. Well, Helen, care to cut a rug? Watch Jeffrey know the moves, too. Uh oh. Oh wow. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey. <laughs> hey, hey. They're doing the Lombarda. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mississippi burning, right? I'm getting that feeling of deja vu. Oh! <laughs> Vivian, I'm trying to concentrate. Could you turn that down, please? I'm sorry, honey. Maybe this will help? Yeah, she, uh, she... <laughs> well, maybe we can do some in-house dancing. <laughs> what are you doing home? Yo, man, I saw the bounce tone, man. Yo, they threw me out the club. Why? Well, it all started when your man Jeffrey started doing the lambada. You guys missed the night of the year. Jeffrey is an amazing dancer. He was doing backflips. <laughs> backflips? I would have loved to see that. Good night, Jeffrey. Good night, Miss Hillary. I guess uh, I shouldn't have busted your groove at the club, man. And uh, I, I guess what I want to say is, is uh, it's all Jazz's fault, man. <laughs> Sit down, lad. For you, a birthday is a time to paint the town red. But for me, it's a time of reflection, a time to review one's successes and regrets. I must say, one of my regrets has always been the fact that I never had a son. I have so oh. much advice to pass on to the next generation, but no one to tell it to. Boy, I'm bushed. <laughs> <laughs> Sit, William. <laughs> my boy, a man is much more than the job he holds or the clothes he wears. You assumed I was lonely. You assumed I wouldn't know how to comport myself at a night spot. You assumed I was a poor dancer. I hope the events of tonight have proved to you that I am, as the saying goes, a fairly fly individual. I'd say so. Well, Dude's uh, a genius. Helen sure thinks so. Ah, Helen. She's certainly a hot little number. <laughs> but I'm afraid she and I were mismatched. I'm afraid I was a little too intimidating for the poor girl. She's looking for someone a little slower, a little less sophisticated. I could be slower. I, I, I'm sure I could be less sophisticated. <laughs> Here's a phone number. Wow. She's expecting your call. 
Wow. He set you up, man. It isn't important that <laughs> I got the date with Helen. Yeah, okay. The important thing is I learned to appreciate Jeffrey as a human being. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Jeffrey and I have a deeper relationship. <laughs> oh my god! Sir. And how is your day? Oh, being a lawyer stinks, Jeffrey. No matter how good a job you do, your clients <clears throat> still compare you to Harry Hamlin. I get it, Uncle Phil. <laughs> there you go, man. There you go. Oh, come on, baby. Get on the soul train. <laughs> Doesn't that golden oldie take you way, way back? Wow. <laughs> the granddaddy of soul. <laughs> we'll be right back after this message from Geritol. Oh. <laughs> the Fresh Prince I'm not even 30 yet, yet, and I feel Did that. <laughs> top cities? Yes! No. You don't have a hoop outside. And Jazz is getting tired of standing on the second floor balcony holding a pool skimmer. <laughs> Come on, Prince, man. I know a playground in my neighborhood. Of course, we can only play half court. They use the other end to sell stolen appliances. <laughs> Dope. Let's go. Carlton's on the basketball team. <laughs> How do they do? Well, they try hard, but to tell you the truth, they haven't won a game so far. I'm Viv. I mean, don't you think if we went down to watch them practice, Carlton would be a little embarrassed? That's Let's why they're going to go. Yep. <laughs> Come on, even I can hit that. And I'm short as hell. Hey, he threw that ball to me. Yeah, but I'm on the other team. I'm supposed to try and get it. Well, you don't have to be rude about it. Hey, you two, make up right now. What the hell is that? All right, men, another brilliant warm up. Coach, this is Barry O'Donnell. He's a distinguished alumnus, and I'm encouraging him to donate money for a new gymnasium. Coach, what do you think the team's prospects are this year? For what? <laughs> For winning. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you're serious. <laughs> uh, what about those two? You've been holding out on me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now those are players. I'd like to meet them. Uh, gentlemen. Uh, not you. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Thorvald, hey. Hey, straight up, man, about that fire alarm? Hey, I don't know who pulled it. Forget about it. I'd like you to meet two of Bel Air Academy's newest recruits. This is Will Smith. Jazz, man. Of course, Mr. Jazz Man. <laughs> so, Will, where have you been hiding yourself? Oh, what you mean, like during gym class? No, 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 I just wondered how'd you two men like to join the school team? Man, I ain't even in this school. Well, I'm, I'm willing to look past that if you are. Oh, okay. Well, I was really just trying to find somewhere to play. You join this team, you can play here anytime you want. Mm, no, nah, I don't think so. Well, it'll look good on a college application. I, I don't know, coach. All right. I'll give you my car. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to win so badly. Coach asked me to go through the playbook with you. Carl, look at you. You got it wrong already. It's more like this. See, like, this is me. <laughs> and... This is you. <laughs> Fair enough. This is my brain, and this is your brain. <laughs> yep, there you go. Well, this is my handsome face, and this is your ugly little Frankenstein face. Guys, I'm trying to study. What are you doing? Keep away from Carlton. Oh, over here, over here. <laughs> That's just so mean. <laughs> You bet your match. Oh, no. Oh, he got beat your ass. <laughs> That's all. Jeffrey was ready to fight. <laughs> Jeffrey, may I get you something, sir? Oh, man. No, thank you. 
Will, <laughs> how many times do I have to tell you that this is our living room? Now, why'd you do that? What? You single bull out there were all goofing around. He was a mastermind, Vivian, trust me. I don't know about that one. I just one. wish you'd be nicer to Will. Now, he joined the basketball team, and you haven't said a word about it. After all, now, you were kind of a star athlete in college. Kind of a star athlete? All right, you were a football god. <laughs> Okay, okay, who knows, it might do him some good. Nothing like a little organized sport to straighten a guy out. Yes, it did wonders for Pete Rose. Mother, please, it's Will's first game with the team. I'm proud of him. If I didn't show up to support him, what kind of cousin would I be? Well, I think it'll be three hours well spent. Three, three hours? hours? <laughs> God, baseball games, like, I mean, basketball games, sorry. Take that long. Jeez, man, this guy is untouchable. There you go, Uncle Phil. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. It's okay, dude. It's okay. I get it. No, I get it. All right, men. Good game on Friday. But I think we can do even better this week. Don't make an assumption because you will be an ass and the ump will shun you. <laughs> Right, that's Perhaps not the, that's not the saying, but okay. You just take it easy. Save that energy for the game. But I was late and I've run 10 laps. 20 laps. Now shut up. <laughs> All right. First play. Guard inbounds to the center. Center moves down court. Fakes right. Passes to the forward. And what does he do? Pass it to Will. Bingo. Center shuttles to the guard. Back to the center who hits the forward and over to the baseline. What does he do? Pass it to Will. Yes. <laughs> They really okay. rely on Will for all Number this. Three. Oh, God. Forward, inbounds from here. Bounce pass to the guard, who zips it right back to the forward under the net. What does he do? If he's clear, he goes for the layup. Otherwise, he passes it back to the guard. Look at Will. He's asleep. <laughs> Mind your own business, Banks. That's 20 laps. <laughs> See, now we're not being fair. Fresh gym shoes. Just pass it to Will. <laughs> Hi, Pumpkin. Hi, love. Hi. Is Will home yet? He's outside playing basketball with Carl. Come on, Will. Now let me down. <laughs> what happened? Will, would you come in here a minute, please? The firm has uh, season tickets for the Laker game, so I put in for them tonight. I thought we could go. Oh, Good. Philip, what a great idea. He'll love it. Thank you. Hey, Uncle Phil, thanks for putting the hoop up on the garage, man. Uh, you want to talk to me? Yeah, well, um, I have two tickets to the Lakers game tonight. How'd you like to come? <laughs> Yo, word, I'm with that, you know. Get a Laker girls an opportunity to check out a future Laker. Uncle Phil, want to shoot a couple hoops? Sure. Did I ever tell you how my high school basketball team won the state championship? I made the final basket right at the buzzer. That's decent. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Carlton. Hi, Hillary. Oh, uh, Hillary, can I ask you something? How was I in the basketball game last Friday? You were great. I mean, you didn't make any baskets or anything, but you looked cute in your uniform. <laughs> I think it's great how you don't get it too sweaty. I guess it's because you don't run too fast. Dad mentioned me during the game? Oh, yeah, he did turn around to the guy behind him once and say, shut up, that's my son you're talking about. <laughs> oh. It's Will, isn't it? No, 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 it's, it's not. I get it, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. You're captain of the debate team. You're a straight A student. You're leader of the Glee Club. So you do very well for yourself. Thanks, Hillary. That means a lot to me. And besides, if that basket were like two feet lower, you'd be just as good as he is. <laughs> I see what you tried to do, but that, that didn't help. $50 says Bel Air wins it. <laughs> Who'd take that bet? You rang beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the moron. Jazz, you bet against <laughs> Will? Yeah, he screws up. I'm loading. <laughs> Jazz. 
students, parents, alumni, let me introduce our beloved coach, Herb Smiley. Thank you, thank you. People who did not support this team in its darkest hour. Well, all I can say is, I don't blame you one bit. <laughs> at the time, I didn't want to be at those games. And quite frankly, this guy. I usually ducked out a little early. <laughs> What are you doing, dude? Now you showboating. Like, just score. <laughs> He's doing too much. Oh, wow. Will, you gotta catch him, man. Remaining, Bel Air is down by two points and calls a timeout. All right, men. Our only hope for winning this game is by shooting a three pointer. One, two, three. Bel Air! Will's looking tired, man. What the heck? Why did Chuck it like that? Oh. You know what? I don't even blame Carlton for that, though. He wanted... Third I get it. I get it. Fulton. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jazz, the World Snooker Championship is coming on the sports station in a few moments. Would you uh, care to place a wager? Hey, Carlton, I'm going out to shoot some hoops, man, so if you'd like to practice some new and more spectacular ways to lose a game, please join me. Put that down. Put what down? My basketball. Your basketball. Why are you in such a bad mood? You should be the happiest guy in the world. Yeah? Why? Because <laughs> you got out that locker room alive. <laughs> Yo, man, Coach Smiley was upset. Hey, boy, you lucky that was just a starter's pistol. <laughs> I was trying to win the game. No, you weren't. You was trying to be the hero. I've been here for two months, all right? I've been getting yelled at at home, screamed at at school, I've been sent to detention. I've been grounded. I've been threatened with expulsion on almost a daily basis. I finally do something I get credit for, and you can't take it. Well, yo, man, I got news for you. I ain't about to sell myself short just to make you feel better. Grow up. You're the one who should grow up hogging the ball every chance you get. And I wasn't hogging nothing. Yeah, you were hogging the okay, ball. Okay, you two. Carlton doesn't want me to use his basketball because he's afraid I might get it in the basket. <laughs> Will you two start acting your age? What I saw in that basketball court tonight was a disgrace. Carlton, the fact that you missed the shot wasn't a disgrace. You stole the ball from a member you, of your own team. You fought over it. Yeah, and if you had passed it to me, we would have won. Oh, you would, huh? Of course. Man, I could make that shot with my eyes closed and one hand tied behind my back. Uncle Phil, the coach, told the team to pass the ball to me. Uh-huh, and did he tell you to woof at the crowd, kiss the cheerleader between plays, and shoot the ball backwards? Well, no, nah, I came up with all that fly stuff myself. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. That you were showboating. Fly, Will. Carlton, can I ask you something? Sure. When you stole the ball from Will and tried to make that Hail Mary shot, what were you thinking about? Impressing you. I don't know. I guess I was just thinking of the first game Will won and how you ran out in the court and you were so proud of him. I guess I just thought it'd be cool if it happened to me. I'm proud that you're out there giving it all you got. You started coming to the games when Will joined the team. I wanted to support him. But you wouldn't come when it was just me. Carlton, I'd like to come to everything you do. I always come to your tennis games, to your debate matches, to your, uh, your glee club concerts. Frankly, keeping up with your extracurricular activities is a 24-hour-a-day job. Did I mention I was elected editor of the yearbook? <laughs> I didn't mean to slight you. But I can't slight Will either. His yeah. mother is 3,000 miles away. He needs a cheering section as much as you do. It will. Yeah? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I I don't want to make a habit of this, but, like, if the show kind of compels me to talk about things, I mean, 
I was a sports guy when I was in high school. Uh, well, mostly, mostly from grade school to end of middle school. Uh, I played football and I played, well, I didn't play. I wrestled. I was a wrestler. Um, and my dad was one of the coaches on both teams. And so I've had a talk like this with my dad. Like Carlton and uh, Uncle Phil did. And my dad understood where I was coming from too. Because I wasn't the star of the team. Of either teams. I was a short kid. I'm still a short guy. <laughs> like I never grew. But. Um, you know. It's. It's one thing when you have your father there. To watch you. Be great. Or be the best that you can be. And then have them kind of give props to other teammates, especially if it's somebody that's living with you. Now I'm not, I've never had that situation, but I have had situations where we've come home from a football game or a wrestling match. And he's talked about the other players and how good they are and how good they've done. And then there was me that he didn't talk about as much. Now you ask him, he talked about me a lot. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure in his own way he did. One thing I will be able to say, though, the first time I pinned another wrestler, he was there to watch it. And the first time I tackled somebody in football during a game, he was there to watch it. So I did get very good, you know, moments with my dad as far as sports goes. But I feel it when it comes to this sort of thing. Like, I understand where Carlton was uh, coming from in that uh, in that moment because... You can feel left out, even if it is just your, just your, you know, family member. It's, it's one thing to every, every child wants the approval of their parents. That's, that's how it always is. Some kids, maybe not, but I know for me growing up, I always wanted my dad's approval. I always wanted my mom's approval too, for a short while. Um, and it's because of those moments that you have that are really good like that, that build a strong bond between you and your parents. Me and my dad have a, have a pretty strong relationship. Um, and part of it was because of those experiences. Now, the only reason I stopped playing football and stopped wrestling is because I got a really bad knee injury. <laughs> and by last year of football, uh, I had a, another one of my teammates get thrown into me helmet first into my knee and I still have a big knot underneath my knee from it. And, um, needless to say, joining the army didn't exactly help that out either, but you know, it, it is what it is. And that's what prevented me from continuing football. I couldn't get in any of the positions. I couldn't get in any of the positions for wrestling because my knee was always bothering me and it was just, it was a pain. So I decided to not do it. If I had kept up with it, who knows where I would have been? Who knows where I'd be right now? I might have been very, very good if I kept it up and kept on practicing and kept on getting better and learning more about each sport. But that's just a little bit about me. Um, I promise I don't want to try and make this a habit where I stop and give you my life experiences. But I think you guys kind of like that based on the last uh, video that we did with um, the cops and everything in episode six. So, I mean, if you like my experiences, please tell me in the comments. If you don't want me to talk about them, please also let me know. Constructive criticism is always great, too. So, thank you guys. <laughs> but let's go ahead and continue now. And so, the men and women of Plymouth Colony sat at a long table with their newfound Indian friends to celebrate the first Thanksgiving. Do me, baby! Do the Humpty Hump! Do the Humpty Hump! Do the Humpty Hump! Do the and then the village idiot interrupted the prayer, <laughs> ruining the feast for one and all. I learned five new words on the way home. Did you know what they meant? I think so, Ashley. They were accompanied by very helpful hand gestures. <laughs> Can't wait till your mom gets here. Oh, right. Yeah, thanks a lot for Oh, she's running, coming. Oh, we had to convince her to accept the ticket. She never lets us spend a penny on her. Well, apparently, that's not a genetic trait. Do you want to try something different or the traditional turkey? Mother, I have a big problem with turkey. What's wrong with it? 
Ashley, honey, from the moment they are hatched to the moment they are shrink-wrapped, turkeys are raised to be food and nothing but food. Hillary, sweetheart, I don't think too many of them had aspirations to be doctors or lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> My sister should be here any minute. Aren't you excited? Oh, yeah, I can't wait till she gets out here and starts taking her usual shots at me. Oh, my God. Why is that way with everybody? Oh, my God. That is not the woman from the, in, from the song. He really has changed. He's certainly not taking any food out of your mouth. <laughs> That's a good one, Mom. I got to use that one. No, no, no. You don't make fun of your uncle. That's my job. Uh, come on, let's go inside. Oh, my goodness, aren't you handsome? And looking less and less like your daddy every day. <laughs> Ouch, run for cover, Dad. Where's he gonna hide at? <laughs> that was okay. You can take those bags yourself. That man is twice your age. Even though he doesn't look it. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, Jeffrey. Well, at least take the heavy one. Now, go on. But, Mom, uh, you heard me. You better listen to your mom, Will. I did. Now, y'all tell me, has Will been giving you any trouble? Oh, he's been wonderful, hasn't he, Philip? Philip. <laughs> well, let's just say he takes after you, Vi. <laughs> okay. Vi, I was dusting the albums this morning, and guess what I found? The Temptation! Girl, I had that album. You had it, I borrowed it. You taught me to dance to this, remember? <laughs> I didn't teach you to dance. Oh no, here we go. Look out, look out. Look out. <laughs> what dance is this? It's called the Swim Ashley. It was very popular in the 1940s. Wow. The 40s? The 1960s, and it's not the swim. Uh oh, everybody out of the pool. <laughs> Now, I need Vi to go ahead and meet Jazz. I need that to happen. Should get the Nobel Prize. <laughs> you know what Don't I'm start. <laughs> you know who used to make the best cobbler? Old Lady Ivory down the street? D does she still make it? Oh, honey, she passed on. Oh, that sucks. Well, child, she was in her early hundreds. Oh. <laughs> she was probably happy you know, to go then. Jeez. You by the way she used to swing that baseball bat at me. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I have a little favor. My English teacher, Mr. Fellows, doesn't have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving tomorrow. And I just thought, since he's all alone and we have so much to share, could we invite him to dinner? Certainly, Carlton. That's very thoughtful. And not the worst way to pull my grade up to an A. <laughs> okay, this straw was lovely. Oh, no, Mom, Mom. I'll get that for you. Oh, thank you, babe. Jeffrey! Really, dude? You shouted, Master William. <laughs> you oh, shouted. Yes, Jeffrey, why don't you have a seat and have some of this delicious peach cobbler while we clear the table? Viola, don't go through so much trouble. Let us all clear the table. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. Honey, do I look like I'm telling a joke? Not to me. No, yeah, no. She, well, <laughs> she about to pull the belt out, man. Pick up the dishes and get them into the kitchen. Oh. Some guest. I mean, what should I do with She's teaching them values. Just put them in the dishwasher. Karen? <laughs> well, let's just take them up to Jeffrey's room. He'll know what to do with them. I have never seen such a lazy bunch in my life. And I work at the post office. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Yo, Jesse! How's it going, Will? Who's Jesse? Oh, can you do me a favor? My mom really likes roses. Can you snip a couple for a bedroom? No problem. Oh, wait a second. Honey, don't go bossing him around. If you want to cut me some flowers, you go get them yourself. But, Mom, you... Understand? Okay, I'll cut you the most beautiful bouquet in the world, but its beauty will pale in comparison to yours. <laughs> Even try that Prince Charming stuff. Jesse, listen, it's the day before Thanksgiving. Take the day off. Are you gonna be around here for Christmas? <laughs> Wait, can she do that? Oh, this Jesse, isn't her house. Good, I wanted to talk to you about the bushes. We can talk about it next week. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, Mom gave him the day off. 
What? Well, Ma, Aunt Viv, it's a holiday. I mean, it'll be cool if the grass grows for another week. Oh, no, it's not growing because you're going to cut it. Why me? <laughs> she coming and taking the you house by storm. You back home. I don't see why you can't do this one. Because it's the size of a football field. <laughs> and since when do I have to ask you twice? But, Ma, now, hustle. I agree with her, though. Okay, but I ain't gonna cut you no flowers. I mean, I kind of agree with her. Everybody Bye. needs to know how to take care of themselves, really but this isn't her house. I just think that they might feel uncomfortable taking orders from somebody they don't know. Uh-huh. And they'd rather take orders from a 17-year-old boy. What do you mean? Well, honey, I don't mean to be critical, but I don't like what I saw today. Well, back home, Will did his homework and mowed the lawn and raked the leaves and cleared the table. Exactly. I don't think a little work around the house is going to interfere with his education. Nor does it take that long. From what I see, all he's learning is how to be a rich kid. I sent him out here to stay out of trouble and get a good education. But Vivian, I also taught that boy the value of hard work. Exactly. And I don't want him to lose that. Now, all I know is the kids in this house are getting a free ride. No, but I get it, though. Like, this I'm isn't her place because it's not her house, but no. still. All done. Vivian, since Carlton's invited his teacher, maybe you should call the caterers and tell them there'll be one more for dinner. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? I'm just fine. Do you know what my sister just said? <laughs> you are not gonna believe this. She said that our kids are spoiled. <laughs> Newsflash. You mean you agree with her? Well, Vivian, I'm the one who says they should be doing more work around the house. You're the one who's too easy on them. Oh, really? Does this sound familiar? Daddy, I need $300. <laughs> 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 Followed by for what? Personal, honey, we're not gonna solve this overnight. Look, let's just have a pleasant Thanksgiving tomorrow and we can talk about it after Vi leaves, okay? Hmm? Don't forget to call the caterer. Hello, Sally. This is Vivian Banks. You had us scheduled for a Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. She's canceling. We'd like to cancel it. Uh oh. Well, we're gonna have the kids make dinner. Oh? What do you mean, good luck? <laughs> I mean, I don't see anything bad with that. My family cooks Thanksgiving together. Well, Carlton, Hillary, Ashley, get down here. Hassle. Jeffrey, it's frozen solid. Really, madam? I thought it was just scared. <laughs> Mommy, didn't we just have a fire drill last week? This is not a drill. Mom, my English teacher is coming to dinner. He holds my English grade in the palm of his hand. This is not the time for one of your leftist experiments. What? Right, Mom. All this stuff about us working could really wait. I mean, it has a real New Year's resolution feel to it. Now, since when do I have to ask you kids twice? Every time, Mommy. Well, not this time. Now, you've got 15 minutes to get up, get dressed, and get back down here. Come on, Viv. I mean, instead of doing all this work, shouldn't I be spending some time with my mom? I mean, she sees me so little. And I'm growing so fast. <laughs> don't even try that Prince Charming stuff. Why don't you show her you can do some work around here? But Aunt Viv, No uh... discussion. <laughs> you, you realize there's a bump forming back there? It's gonna get bigger if you don't start listening. All right, now bust this. These are your assignments. Carlton, you do the stuffing. Hillary, you do the yams and the rolls. Oh, I get two things? Why don't you just put a yoke around my neck and hitch me to a plow? Yams and rolls are actually easy to make. <laughs> that arguably might be the easiest thing to make Hillary, in this whole thing. I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world if you guys did a little bit of work around here. I'm sorry dinner's so late, Mr. Fellows. Oh, that's okay. I think in our society we're too obsessed with time. Save time, don't waste time, be on time. Isn't what this is the same guy that do? lied and to said eat. he knew the poet? <laughs> He said you were studying Shakespeare? Oh, this is really exciting. We're reading Hamlet, but to make it more relevant to the kids, I'm teaching it to them in a rap version I wrote myself. Oh, Lord. To be in effect or not to be in effect? Slamming man on the questioning tip. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dinner will be served in 10 minutes. 30 Excuse minutes. <laughs> what are you doing? It seems that little Mr. Poppin' Fresh doesn't want to come out of his tube. <laughs> Perhaps the 
this will persuade no. you. No. All done. Darn it! Oh. Really, Carlton? Nice going, Carlton! Well, do you want to try to make this? This stuffing is completely dry. But, look, do I have to do everything myself? When something is too dry, what do we do? You wet it. Cream of mushroom soup. Par, par, par. I don't think that you mix, put mix, that mix. on there. Can you do that? <laughs> do you make cream of mu Wait, do you Did make you stuffing with cream of mushroom soup? Dear Lord, for this food we are about to receive, make us truly thankful. Amen. 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 <laughs> well, let's start by serving our guest of honor. Mr. Fellows, care for some yams? I'd love some. I've never had them before with this thick black crust. <laughs> it's Cajun style. <laughs> Hillary burned them. <laughs> They're totally charred. <laughs> oh, God. How did you do that? Mom, give Hillary a break. I think she deserves some credit just for putting out the fire. Well, that looks like some cranberry sauce, Mr. Fellows. Lay it on me. Allow me. <laughs> it looks wonderful. Who made it? I did, Mommy. Yeah, you'd never know. Ashley dropped it on the floor. God, Hillary. <laughs> oh, well, um, what about the stuffing? Wait, g give it a try, Mr. Fellows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man is like, I'm going to be poisoned. Uh, Sure. I made it, Mr. Fellows. I'm sure you'll find it of grade A quality. Will is going to get an A in my English class. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations, baby. Do you have any news for my parents? Not really. <laughs> so, how about that stuffing? Nah, serve yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, that's too much. Oh, looks, looks great. Um, oh, no. Shall I pass it on? No. Would you like to do the honors, Uncle Phil? Yes, certainly. Is it good, though? It looks good on the outside, but where's the seasoning? It's frozen inside. Oh, no. Well, I'm sorry. I fought it as much as I could. What was I supposed to do? Sit on it all day? Oh, my. The kids work very hard on this. Honey, hard is the word. <laughs> his second cup of stuffing. <laughs> this is certainly one for the books. You know, Vi, you really hurt my feelings yesterday. What are you talking about? When you said I was spoiling Will and my kids, I'm just trying to give them the things that we didn't have. I'm, and we get that. Well, no, that's like, all, that's a I very accommodating thing feeling. to do. I don't know, I think living in California that made you sensitive. <laughs> I don't think I'm being sensitive, Vi. You basically call me a bad mother. I don't think that's what she said, though. But you gotta teach him how to work hard, too. And that's what I taught you. And you turned out pretty good. <laughs> I gotta admit it, Vi. Philip says I'm too easy on mm -hmm. him. I guess they should have some more responsibilities. Yeah, well, it wouldn't kill him. Especially at their age. Hey, yo. Hey, Ma, can I help you here? No, not from what I saw today. Please. <laughs> Please. Listen, you gotta learn how to cook before you go to college. Oh, yeah, Aunt Viv can teach me. You know, she's a great cook. Well, she should be. I taught her. So you got an A in English, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they think I'm a genius. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you just keep working hard, genius. I want you to listen to your Aunt Viv, okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I have to say, you guys did a terrible job with dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she always did make me laugh. I miss that. I miss it too. Aww. All right, so that was part four of season one for Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Gotta say that last one was probably my favorite episode out of the three. Um. And uh, episode 11 with the basketball team. But I think last episode was one of my favorites because I love holiday episodes. Those are like my absolute favorite ones. As long as they're done right. And this one was done pretty well. I thought it was great. Getting to meet Will's mom for once. I didn't know we'd ever meet her actually. I thought maybe she'd just be kind of, you know, the plot of the story instead of actually being a character in it. 
Um, but no, I'm actually glad that we did get to meet her. Hopefully we see more of her. And I'm hoping that we get a Christmas episode here soon because we just got a Thanksgiving one. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you'd like to watch my full length reaction to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? I will see you all, well, thank you all for joining me and I will see you all next time. Remember everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.